essentially to start off with this effect you need to make two copies of your uh, clips and put one on top of the other okay so both these clips they have nothing done to them okay and there's no effects on either clip they're just the originals exactly the same okay on the top clip you want to put the bad TV effect onto the top clip as you can see it's applied it to that whole cl clip there if you want the effect to be only on a certain object, uh, such as that the girl, you go up to the bad TV and you add a color mask. And I'm going to click on the jacket. Okay. And now you'll see that only that color is affected. You can see here on the on the boulders here and the, the color over here on that boulder. Um, it's affected with this uh, staticky, um, this bad TV effect. If you only want it on the girl, then you want to then add a shape mask. So you add a shape mask to the top one, and then you just put this over the object. Now you can see the boulders aren't affected, it's only the girl. So if I drag this out, you can see the boulders affected. So that's good there. Now if it's a moving shot then you'll have to add keyframes to keep the mask on the object. So I'm just going to go to the start and drag the mask on top of the girl. And go to shape mask. mask and you want to go to position, add a keyframe. And you just want to go through this clip slowly moving the mask to keep with the object so now you can see the mask follows the object and that's good now if you left it like this it just transition like so and it doesn't really have a glitch between the two clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another bad TV to the bottom clip. Okay, As you can see there you don't really want it to be like that so I'm going to on the bottom clip I'm going to have the amount of the bad TV effect to zero and keyframe and then at the end here I'm going to have the amount of the TV to about there and I'm going to have it to roll a bit so what a roll does as you can see there like it rolls the clip and have it roll about like that and you can see now it starts as you can see there that effect comes right at the end now it looks a bit weird because there's that mask so what I want to do now is at about the same time or just before it's about there I'm going to go on the top clip I'm going to go to the shape mask I'm going to add a keyframe to the uh, opacity and then go across on the keyboard one frame and then I'm going to opacity down to zero so pretty much that just turns off that mask and then it goes on to that bottom clip um, bad TV transition. Okay, so I'll just play that through. And there you go. So that's that first clip uh, done. The next clip, um, again, it's the same way. So you just need to go bad TV on the top clip. I'm just going to put this on to the remaining clips. Saves a bit of time. Okay. And then I'll do a shape mask. Put the shape mask on all top clips. So again, then I go to the bad TV effect and add color mask. And I'm just going to select the girl again. So there you go. So only that. Um, shape mask I only want really her to be affected nothing else 
Okay, I'm just going to go to start and to the end. And that looks all good. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So you don't always have to add like another transition, uh, another effect to the bottom clip. It's just if you want to get that effect. This is such a sh short duration of this clip that I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. And then onto this next clip. Again, I only want her to be um, affected. So I'm going to go to the bad TV effect and add color mask. So I'm just going to select the uh, red bit of the board here. So I just want that to be affected. Shape mask and I only want the board. So that looks good. Last clip here, again I only want the helicopter to be affected. So bad TV and add color mask. I'm going to click on the belly of the helicopter. You can also um, click and drag and you can select multiple colors so you can do that um, or you can just do single clicks. Uh, I'm going to go to the shape mask and just going to ensure that only that bit of the helicopter is really affected. I'm going to go to the start, keyframe to the position the start and I'm just going to ensure that that mask stays on the helicopter okay so that's that one done again I'm just going to quickly select color just the frame bike frame here so that black that's good I'm just going to bring this down so only really the bike and the person is affected so you can change um, the static type also in the bad, bad TV effect so you've got different static types here uh, so I'll change it to TV static and then you can change the amount so if I increase that or decrease it so zero is obviously nothing and the full effect when you go to the right so if you go to the audio and you go to sound effects you can find static sound effects so there's a few here so all of the sound effects that I've used here, they're from here, okay? So they're already in Final Cut Pro. You don't have to download them. They're already there. So what I'll do is I'll just now activate them. So I've just placed these in before time. It saves a bit of time. So I'll just play this back. So there you go. So if you found this video helpful, then uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, Till next time, cheers.